Um, the other paper I bought, uh, which I'll leave with you, it's, uh, it's, it, I think it's a really important paper, and it's done by the Health Officers Council of BC. And these are, these are health officers, public health officials, uh, physicians across British Columbia have a council, and they meet a couple of times a year. And they've been working on this, this, this issue of how to better respond to uh, substance use through a public health framework. So there, this paper is called the Public, public Health Perspectives for Regulating Psychoactive Substances. And they're wanting to look at all substances. So they want to look at substance use as a phenomenon that's been around forever and uh, will be around forever and the problems created by substance use, but also the problems created by policy responses like prohibition, uh, like regulation. We regulate some things better than others. Uh, so they want to acknowledge that policies have harms and substances can have harms. And so they want to sort of look, level a playing field and look at all substances from a public health perspective. Um, and I think it, 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 it's, uh, it's a discussion paper. So I, I encourage you to, uh, we, you can get it on our website at drugpolicy.ca. Um, I think it's something, it, the, the article that you mentioned, uh, uh, Roma, was one of many that you, you're seeing, right? Oh, yeah, this is just the uh, recent one I saw. That's right. Yeah. So, so there's something happening. When you have Dr. Terry Kendall from BC, the Moira, can't remember her name, McKinnon from Saskatchewan, and Robert Strang, I think, from Nova Scotia, medical health officers speaking out on this issue, then something's happened. Eh? We've, we've reached another level. And uh, kudos to your leader when you hear you know, Bob Ray in the House saying what he said, and I was saying to one of you guys that the, these are really hard words to, you know, should, should someone like him become a prime minister, these are really hard statements to backtrack on, you know, so, and that's often what happens in politics. The opposition members can say whatever they want, right, because they're not in power, so that, that often happens. Uh, I think we've seen it many times when uh, people get in power. Of course, they have, they have to compromise a lot more to, uh, to, to, to satisfy as many people as possible. So, so, but kudos to Ray for saying that. Um, that's, that's significant. The medical health officers speaking of significant. The Stop the Violence BC Coalition that we're a part of, we're, we, we, we support it. We haven't, the, 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 we're not in the leadership uh, of it at all. Um, but if you look at their website and you see who the members of Stop the Violence are, you'll see all of the universities, you'll see a lot of academics, you'll see, uh, you'll see LEAP. Um, so there is something happening, and it's very interesting that it's happening at a time when our federal government is going backwards. So we're, we're, trying, to, we're trying to build on the, and it's happening globally. Uh, you know, I, I travel a lot, and it, the global discussion is it's heating up phenomenally. Latin America, they have had it with the war on drugs. The 50,000 people are dying in Mexico, 30,000 in El Salvador, uh, 30,000 in Guatemala, 40,000 in Venezuela because of the drug war that's going on. And um, they have had it. And so the Guatemalan president is speaking out, uh, looking for uh, alternatives. The president of Colombia is speaking out. Um, the uh, <coughs> former Mexican presidents of Brazil, uh, um, presidents have all spoken out about we need to find a better way. So we're, we're you know, this room and, and your, your discussion in your party is very much in sync with a global discussion that's going on, and that is moving at uh, quite a pace. So uh, I'm very encouraged by uh, the, the resolution that you passed with 77 uh, percent, which is, you know, I was saying the pollsters die for those kind of numbers. Right? This is significant. It's a significant number. So I, I think, and if you look at the polling on Stop the Violence BC's website, they've done some Angus Angus Reid has done some polling for them. The numbers are phenomenal. It's like only 12% of British Columbians want to keep things, want to keep the same approach that we're using now to addressing uh, cannabis. So, you know, that's 88% want something different. They, we may have to discuss what that is, but 12% is, but want to keep the status quo. That's, that's phenomenal. Um, 
So I encourage you to go to their website and uh, check out what they have. And uh, I encourage you to circulate this paper, or both, well, both of our papers. Uh, uh, I have some for you here. Uh, but, but this is like probably the, if you want an evidence-based discussion, uh, this is a really good background paper written by public health physicians. And when you talk to the Health Officers Council of BC, they will say that most public health physicians across the country would agree with everything that's in this paper. So um, I, I think I'll leave it at that. I've, I've spoken for uh, long enough and I want to hear from Jody. Um, but I, I think we're at that point where to have, uh, I guess, former candidates, you're not a candidate, you're a former candidate, to have, to have people talking about the need for an evidence-based uh, drug policy is, is really good because the evidence is there. We have, we're, we're way further ahead than we were 25 years ago, or in 1972 when the Ladane Commission uh, looked at all the evidence. Um, we're, we're just much further ahead globally. Uh, we can draw on so many resources to look at so much science behind uh, that, that will support any calls for change. So I'll leave these with you. And um, please join our coalition. Uh, like us on Facebook, you know, all that stuff. And tweet, follow us on Twitter. Uh, and we're, we're a resource for all parties. Uh, we would like to create a new drug policy, a new model of legislation for Canada over the next few years and, and give it to all the parties uh, before the next election. And uh, just see what, see what happens.